or the uh, the amend amendment motion. Yeah, yeah. Would I rise to support motion A1, but more particularly to speak to motion U1 that's in my name, which the noble lady has just referred to, proposing that if an age assessment judicial review is in progress, removal should be delayed until its completion. I, I do welcome comments from ministers that uh, those subject to an age dispute will be accommodated in an age appropriate setting here in the UK. But can the Lord Minister confirm that will be the case in a third country? Will Rwanda, for example, be informed that a young person is subject to an age dispute? And then will the Rwandan government be required by the UK to set, keep that person separate from other adult residents and to be properly supervised as a child until the courts have made a judgment? My Lord, the Secretary of State has a legal duty to have regard to the need to safeguard and promote the welfare of children. So can I ask the Lord Minister how the welfare of a child will be protected by not allowing judicial review to act as a temporary delay to their removal? The government appears to be arguing that when a child legally challenges an age assessment, it's simply a spurious attempt to use legal methods to postpone removal. But as we know, the majority of children are found to be children after local authority assessments. So it's more likely that what's happening is an attempt to protect their proper right to be treated as a child. Someone of the minister, therefore, would take the opportunity to at least confirm that when an individual's age is disputed, they won't be subject to removal before having met with a social worker and a child protection team for a more comprehensive age assessment process. My Lords, the determination that an individual may be a child and therefore could deserve all the rights a child is due should be and must be reason enough to prevent their removal. When the implications for children are so grave, so lifelong, it would seem to me to not delay a child's removal from the UK until those questions are resolved is immoral. I do plead with government to recognise this as a failure of safeguarding, something that we are all trying to treat to the highest possible standard. But in view of the lateness of the hour, when we're likely to reach a vote on, on this matter and the many other matters that your Lordship's House has to deal with tonight, 